Hey guys, welcome to Coding in Flow. In this tutorial we will learn how we can migrate an existing Android Studio project to use the new Android X dependencies. But first of all, what are Android X dependencies? So in pretty much all our Android projects we use the Android support libraries, which add new features and at the same time provide backwards compatibility for older versions of Android. The app comma dependency is added into new projects by default, and if we want more features we add other dependencies like the design support library. But now all these dependencies have been refactored into a different package name, which basically means that these import statements here have changed, together with the corresponding import statements within the project. So why did this happen? The reason for this is that these support libraries are already pretty old, they have been first introduced in 2011, and over time these package names became really confusing. For example, this v7 here originally indicated that the minimum supported SDK level was 7. But since then this minimum level has been raised to 14, so now this V7 doesn't really mean anything anymore, and it's just confusing especially to new developers. Another problem is that all these support libraries always need the exact same version number here at the end. So we couldn't use 27.1.0 for the design support library without also changing the other two version numbers here. So for this reason the package names have been changed to Android X, which is short for Android Extension Libraries, and they basically provide simplified package names, which are less confusing. And from now on these Android packages are reserved for the default classes that ship with the operating system and which have different behavior on different Android versions. And all the support library and architecture component stuff will then have the Android X prefix. And they are the classes that you add to the project to provide backwards compatibility and additional features. Also these libraries are now broken down into smaller pieces. So we can just pull in individual widgets, like a view page for example, without importing a lot of other widgets with the same dependency. So everything is a bit more granular. And also these new dependencies will be updated independently from each other, so they don't need the same version number. The last release of the normal support library dependencies is 28.0.0, and after that you have to use the Android X dependencies. But luckily Android Studio has a built-in feature to migrate an existing project to these new dependencies, so let's see how we can use this. For this I have opened an example project, which still uses the old dependencies with version 27. And first of all you have to make sure that your Android Studio is version 3.2 or higher, because otherwise we don't have this migration assistant, which we can find under refactor up here, migrate to Android X. And when we click it, we see this warning. You need at least Compile SDK 28 and we need the higher Gradle version. So let's click this array and fix these two problems. So first of all we go into the build.gradle file with module colon app in its name, which is this one here. And then we increase the Compile SDK version to 28. And then you usually also want to increase the Target SDK version to the same number. For this you have to make sure that you have the SDK for API level 28 installed. And you can find this out under Tools, SDK Manager. And here this one has to be ticked. Android 9.0 Pi, API level 28. If it's not ticked, then go ahead and tick it and click OK, which will install this SDK. We can ignore these warnings down here because these dependencies will be replaced for the Android X dependencies anyways. And then we go into the other build.gradle file with project in its name. And here we have to increase the Gradle version, which was the second error we got. So when we click on here, we see this little light bulb, we click on it, and on change tour, and then whatever version number it shows you. This is the most up to date one. Okay, and then we click sync now. And then we get this warning here. This is because we only updated the version number of the Android Gradle plugin, not of the underlying Gradle version. So we simply click on Fix Gradle Wrapper and Reimport Project, which should take care of it. Okay, and if everything went correctly, in this Gradle Wrapper Properties file, it should have updated this number here. Okay, so we fixed both our problems. Let's try to migrate it again. Migrate to Android X. Here it shows a warning that you should back up your project, just to make sure that if anything goes wrong, you can recreate it. Now this is a very simple project, here nothing really should go wrong, but in a bigger project you could run into some problems. So make sure to keep this one here checked, backup project as zip file, 
I will uncheck it because I don't need it. But if you have an important project, you should create a backup. Then we go ahead and click Migrate and wait a bit. And then this here at the bottom pops up. This shows you what exactly will be changed. So you can check it in detail if you want. And then we go ahead and click to refactor. And wait another moment. Okay, so it's done. Let's take a look into our Gradle file again. And now some stuff changed down here. As you can see, now we have these Android X dependencies. This is the app commit library. This material library down here without Android X was the design support library. I think this is the only one that doesn't have the Android X prefix, but the other ones do. And as you can see, the names are now more simple. We don't have this minus V7 anymore. And the version numbers start at 1.0.0. So this is a complete reset of the version numbers. This number is now independent from the SDK version, unlike before. And you can now also update these version numbers independently from each other. So if an upgrade to the card view comes out with 1.0.1 for example, you can change this without having to change the other stuff. Whereas before these version numbers always had to match exactly. Okay, and when we take a look into our main activity, we can see that these import statements changed as well. So in the best case, your app should still work right away. To test it out, you can just run the app. But it's also possible that you have to make some changes manually. For this, I will put a link to the Android X refactoring table into the description box below. And there you can find a list which shows you how exactly the old dependencies map to the new ones. And it's also important to note that the class names themselves did not change, only the import statements. And the same happened in our layout files, Android X Recycler Viewer, Material floating action button, this all has been updated. And in this Gradle properties file here, it also added these two flags. And this enable jettifier is there if you use third party libraries in your app that themselves use the old support library dependencies. And this jettifier takes care of translating these dependencies to Android X, so you can still use these libraries even if they haven't been updated yet. Okay, this is how you migrate an Android Studio project to Android X. And in the future, we will use these Android X dependencies right away. If this video was helpful, please leave a like. And if you want more Android tutorials, don't forget to subscribe. Take care.